the first mis mistake we made was deciding to buy a house in Rochester because if you don't know the market is crazy and it seems like houses are sold before the sellers even decide to list it if you don't have 200,000 in cash or if you decide to get an inspection or if you don't want to overpay then I wish you good luck the second mistake we made was we produced a ridiculous amount of trash and advice that I have for you is don't buy furniture that is packed with styrofoam and unrecyclable plastic because now you have a limited amount of trash that you can get rid of every week. And if that can't be avoided, then make sure that you have friends that still have unlimited dumpster access. <laughs> we watched a lot of HGTV. Because of this, I was convinced that we had hidden water damage inside all of our walls or carpenter ants eating at our structure and it was ready to collapse at any minute. On a side note, make, make sure that your house is never too quiet or you'll start to think that all the little noises are a sign that your house will actually collapse. <laughs> Number four. Just because you have a fence, it doesn't mean that your sassy chihuahua won't get through it and parade around the neighborhood at 5.30 in the morning, setting off all the other dogs while you're chasing after her like a crazy person. <laughs> I learned the hard way that this is not the best way to meet your neighbors. <laughs> and finally, we were so excited to get the house that we didn't care what was left behind bouncy seats, and this playground was left behind. We made the mistake of not getting rid of this before the parents came over, and there was a lot of talk about grandchildren, and <laughs> it was a topic that we didn't want to discuss. <laughs> In the end, I chalk all of these mistakes up to learning experiences, and according to my financial advisor, we're, we're building something called equity. Mr. Tosman.